Stealth technology is essential for modern aircraft operating in environments with sophisticated air defense systems. While stealth fighters and bombers like the F-22 and B-2 are common, stealth helicopters are rare, almost non-existent, due to inherent design challenges. Helicopters have loud turbine exhaust, fuselage vibrations, and noisy tail rotors, making it difficult for them to operate undetected. However, there have been some attempts to create a true stealth helicopter. One of the most notable efforts was the Boeing Sikorsky RH-66 Comanche helicopter from the 1990s. This helicopter featured advanced materials and coatings to reduce its radar signature. Despite these innovations, the project was canceled in 2004 after $7 billion was spent, with no operational units produced. In today's video, we're taking a closer look at the RAH-66 Comanche helicopter, its innovative features, and exploring some of the reasons behind its failure. So, how did this ambitious project come to be, and what led to its downfall? Let's dive right in. In the 1980s, the U.S. Army began developing the requirements for a replacement for its aging helicopter fleet through the Light Helicopter Experimental LHX program. Boeing Sikorsky's RAH-66 Comanche emerged as the selected design, receiving an initial $3 billion budget in 1991 to produce six prototypes, though ultimately only two were completed. Named Comanche in accordance with the Army's tradition of using Native American tribe names, the helicopter was designed to perform stealthy reconnaissance and light attack missions. It was intended to operate covertly in enemy territory, locate ground targets for the AH-64 Apache, and provide real-time data integration with other military assets. The Comanche was also armed with one rotary cannon and could carry missiles and rockets in internal bays, with optional stub wings for additional armament. To achieve its objectives, the RAH-66 incorporated advanced stealth technologies aimed at minimizing its radar signature and noise profile. In fact, these innovations laid the groundwork for stealth advancements seen in aircraft like the F-35 Lightning, highlighting the Comanche as a significant milestone in stealth aviation technology. What's interesting is that the Comanche featured a compact and angular design, inspired by the Lockheed F-117 Nighthawk to enhance its stealth capabilities with a low-profile silhouette. Unlike modern designs from the 1990s and 2000s, which favor smoother shapes, the RAH-66 retained angled panels for its stealth characteristics. Its main rotor was a robust five-blade composite design followed by a shrouded tail rotor reminiscent of the French Fenestron concept, which is housed within the tail boom, working as a ducted fan. The RAH-66 was powered by proprietary dual LH-Tech turboshaft engines, each generating around 1,500 horsepower. This configuration enabled the helicopter to achieve a maximum speed of over 320 kilometers per hour, with a range of 2,200 kilometers. Its rate of climb was an impressive 895 feet per minute. The helicopter was equipped with internal weapons bays and a retractable wheeled undercarriage, enabling tactical versatility. Optional stub wings expanded its ordnance capacity, albeit increasing radar visibility. Armament options included Hellfire anti-tank missiles, Stinger air-to-air -air missiles, as well as Hydra rocket pods, with the optional stub wings enhancing its ordnance carrying capacity. The RAH-66 was also armed with a powerful 20mm three-barrel autocannon, while accommodating a crew of two in tandem configuration for optimal visibility. It also had advanced flight controls, including helmet-mounted displays, side-stick cyclic control, 3D moving map displays, and triple-redundant fly-by-wire technology. If ever produced, the RAH-66 Comanche would have been the world's most advanced helicopter. However, its projected production costs, including development, exceeded $39 billion. Therefore, the decision to terminate the program reflected the Pentagon's financial constraints amid numerous high-cost defense projects, 
despite substantial budget increases following the 9-11 attacks. But the cancellation of the program wasn't purely financial. It also coincided with the rise of unmanned aerial vehicles, which have taken on increasing roles in surveillance and attack missions. So, it is unlikely that we'll see new stealth-manned helicopter programs anytime soon. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video interesting, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest defense news and analyses.